Welcome to the Tuesday, November 25th, 2014 edition of Werner Barry's Daily Video, sponsored by the Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, West Coast ports are experiencing a backup seeming to threaten holiday seafood supplies. Then later, we take a look at the latest Catalan feed report figures. But first, the top 500 restaurant chains are headed towards unit increases for the remainder of 2014. Here with that story is your host, Nicole Bessemer. Technomic, the industry standard for restaurant data, predicts a 2.3% unit growth rate over 2013 among the top 500 largest U.S. restaurant chains. The increase is slightly higher than the 2.1% growth rate from 2012 to 2013 and much greater than the 0.5% growth rate in 2009. Among full-service restaurant menu segments, Asia will increase units by 5.1%, followed by seafood with 3.9% and 3.4% for steak. Asian Noodle also leads the limited service menu segments, increasing unit counts by 8%, while bakery cafes and coffee cafes will grow units by 5.2% and 4.2% respectively. Many full-service brands have positioned themselves to expand this past year. The largest growth has been at Buff Buffalo Wild Wings, which will have added 65 units, Mellow Mushroom with 32, and Longhorn Steakhouse with 24 units. In limited service, Subway will add 908 units by year-end, followed by Starbucks with 443, Jimmy John's with 350, and Dunkin' Donuts with 291 more units. For more on restaurant chain growth and other news from the center of the plate, please head over to foodmarket.com. In other news, West Coast port backups threaten holiday seafood supplies. Here's seafood.com reporter Michael Ramsing to tell us more. The situation surrounding severe congestion at the Los Angeles and Long Beach ports took a turn for the worse, and now seafood supplies for the upcoming holiday buying season could be impacted. Last week, five carriers said they would begin levying congestion surcharges as high as $1,000 per container starting November 26th. At the same time, negotiations broke down late last week between maritime workers and the longshoremen. The longshoremen said they would be taking a break from big table meetings until after Thanksgiving, a tactic the maritime workers say is to further slow down operations at the ports. The congestion has been an ongoing issue in the region for this year. Ports are running at capacity, unable to keep up with much larger container ships with more cargo. The annual surge in holiday shipments that started in August has only worsened the port backup and now poses a threat to seafood shipments. Traders said the congestion is the worst they have ever seen, with one, one importer adding that those who ordered product for December's holiday sales period may not get their shipments in time for the season. Keep track of all the congestion developments at the West Coast ports, along with holiday season supply trends from the center of the plate industry using the new link in Comtel. Thanks Michael. To wrap up today's video, we have beef market reporter Gary Morrison with the latest cattle on feed report. The USDA's monthly cattle on feed report, released Friday afternoon, showed a 0.5% more cattle in the nation's feed yards as of November 1st, compared with a year ago. It was the first time since August of 2012 for the on-feed number to exceed the previous year figure. Placements of young cattle in October were larger than analysts had expected, while marketings were near the expectations but remained small versus a year ago, as they have in recent months, resulting in a gradual buildup of animals in the feed yards. After futures opened mostly weaker, they gained a foothold due to the record high cash prices paid last week, and they continued outlook for tight supplies over the next two years. For more information on the cattle and other livestock markets, go to the red meat tab on Comtel. Thanks, Gary. Thank that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.